Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Christina and I am really excited for today's video because today I'm going to be taking you guys through my dream wardrobe and this is so exciting to me because if you've been following the series, you know I'm trying to evolve and become a different person, a better person by the end of the next three months. And so one aspect of that for me includes changing my wardrobe a little bit because I don't think I've ever been someone to get that into clothing. I kind of like to dip and dabble in it here and there and I like to try a whole bunch of different styles of clothes. I really thought like as I'm getting older that it's kind of the time where I try to develop my own sense of personal style So I think so far I've been narrowing it down to a look that I really feel confident in really feel comfortable in So ever since I kind of started like realizing like okay, I want to dress like this I've just gone full-fledged into buying clothes, which is not the best for my pockets I can admit but it has just been such a fun experience and the outcome of me wearing these clothes and the the feedback that I've gotten since I've been going out and just how people have treated me differently and reacted to me differently just says so much and just really it really kind of enforced the idea that like what we wear and how we feel in the clothes that we wear matters so much so yeah with that being said I'm just gonna start by kind of explaining to you my new style and what I've been wearing lately so I would describe my style as more feminine more girly I just love sophistication and just feeling very sophisticated and mature in the clothing that I wear I would describe it kind of like an old money aesthetic that's what I've been going for lately so yeah like that's kind of what I've been building my wardrobe around and ever since I started dressing like this it's just been received so well and I, I get so many compliments and I really just feel like that girl like I really just feel like such a powerful black woman and like it's just it's a great feeling so I'm definitely gonna continue dressing like this and see how much more my style expands I really think that I'm laying the groundwork for what I really see my staple fashion sense being and yeah I really try to focus on getting very capsule pieces pieces that can last good quality pieces and that's why the places that I shopped at were a bit on the pricey end like I'm not even gonna lie to you they're a bit on the pricey end but I think it's really worth it because I do plan on wearing these pieces for a very long time and they're just pieces that I think no matter matter what trends are going in and out I think they can stand the test of time so yeah with that being said let's just get straight into the video okay so first what I'm gonna do is share with you guys my Pinterest board because these are the looks that I was going for when it came to shopping and just getting items that I really wanted to reflect my new style so this is kind of the looks that I've been going for very elegant sophisticated feminine so I would just say that that is what I was going for when it came to buying more items like I know these looks aren't over the top or anything but I think it's the simplistic aspect of them that really just does something like I'm a very I just like the simplicity of it because I feel like if you are a person that just has essence to yourself I think the clothes just accentuate what you already have going for yourself so that's kind of just how I view it but yeah I just love this style okay so now that you guys kind of know the kind of look that I was going for I'm just gonna start by showing you some outfits that I put together with the new pieces that I got and so that's what all these clothes behind me are so let's just get started okay so this is the first outfit that I put together and I got this top from garage it's just a simple white top I think it's really cute like I think having just a white plain top is very necessary especially with the wardrobe that I'm trying to like put together I just think this top comes in handy a lot so this is where I got the top so then I just paired it with these bottoms from Aritzia and guys I love Aritzia but that place is so expensive but they just have really high quality stuff so I hope that a lot of the clothes that I got from there truly do last me a very long time but yeah this is the first outfit and I actually loved that look oh yeah and then, so the belt I just got from Amazon I got this one and then it came with a black one and a brown one too so that's what I used to build that first look and then I added this watch as well so this watch is just from Amazon too I got it for I think it was 25 29 dollars something like that and I'll really do my best to link everything down below for you guys some of this stuff I did get quite a while ago so if I can't find it I'm sorry but I'll try to link everything that I have down below so yeah it was this watch as well and this watch has been a staple in my closet just because of how much it just ties together the look and then I paired it with these earrings as well and it's just something about a gold hoop. I just cannot stop wearing them. And they just go so well with my outfit. And, and it goes so well with the very feminine, very classy outfits that I've been trying to build. You will rarely see me without gold hoops or even these. These aren't really hoops. They're more so studs. But you will rarely see me without some type of gold earring in my ears right now. Because I'm just obsessed with how much I think it pulls together a look. So for the second look, I just paired this top that I got from Aritzia 
with this skirt, this very long linen skirt from Meshki. And guys, I love a top that has this kind of neckline. Like any neckline that kind of is off the shoulder or just, you know, is one shoulder. I love that style. So I definitely have a lot of this in my closet and I love this material as well. This is a super thick, super stretchy material. So I, I love this top. I love this top so much. And then so this skirt is just a normal linen skirt, but I love the touch with the the gold buttons. I love the gold buttons and I love how lightweight it is. It is linen and it just is so flowy. It's perfect for the summertime because it's not that thick. And well, it is thick, but it just is lightweight if that makes sense. But I love this skirt and I've been wearing this a lot this summer. And the next look is this dress. I showed this dress in my Meshki haul video, but I love this dress. This literally exemplifies the style that I'm going for. It gives old money. It just gives class. And I don't know, just look at the detail with the buttons. Like these buttons are just so detailed and they're not cheap. They are definitely high quality. This whole outfit is very high quality and the material is great. Like it is knitted, it is thick, it is stretchy. 100% this look is just so cute to me and it just is such a classy and like just a staple look in my closet right now. So for the next look, I just paired this simple white top from Aritzia and I love cuts like this. I love just like straight and clean cuts, if that makes sense. Like it just is so clean and I just love the type of necklines like this. So I got this top and this is in a small from Aritzia and then I paired it with these pants. I don't know what style these pants are called. Are they just called slacks? Is that the right term for them? I'm not sure, but they have some type of pattern on them. If you can tell, it's kind of like patterned. And I got these from Meshki in an extra small. And I paired it with this brown belt that I got from Amazon in the pack. And I just added these sunglasses. I got these from Target for like $15 and these are a staple in my closet for some reason. I just love adding sunglasses to almost every look that I put on. Like, I just think they add such a classy and elegant look to them. I don't know, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I love sunglasses. So that was the next look. So for this next look, I just paired this tube top that I got from H&M and this is a small, so I just paired this tube top and just nothing special about it, but it is really nice. And if I haven't mentioned before, I just really like ribbed clothes for some reason, so it has a ribbed pattern on it. So I just paired that with this skirt that I got from Meshki and I love, like I really have not gotten into jean skirts until this year. I just love jean skirts right now and I love, I love this one because of the color, but I also have another one that is just denim. Them. and I just don't know it's just something about skirts and just this year that have really I don't know me and skirts go together real bad so if you guys haven't noticed a lot of these clothes do tend to be more neutral toned and I really I like color like I'm a girl that likes to wear pinks and blues and greens but it's really hard for me to find clothes and color with the style that I like like I don't know I feel like it's either a really pretty color but I just don't like the style or the opposite way around. So that's why a lot of the things that you see are kind of neutral because for one, I think that's the trend right now and I just think it's easier for me to find cute styles in those colors. But I'm mad that people don't like make more cuter clothes and brighter colors because especially during the summertime, like I can understand fall and all that kind of stuff. But in the summer, I want vibrance. I just love vibrant colors. So anyway, that's why I kind of have a lot of neutral colors in this wardrobe right now. Okay, so the next look that I put together, I just paired this, I wanna say, what color is this? I wouldn't say plum, it's kinda lighter than a plum but darker than a lavender, so I'm really not sure. But I paired this top and I love the style of this top. I love how it is asymmetrical. I think that's how, you, yeah, I think it's asymmetrical, that's what you would say. And I love how it's kinda tight at the hip. And like I mentioned earlier, Love the neckline, love how it's kind of a one shoulder. I just think it signifies elegance. Like, I just love it. I think it's very feminine and just, you know, nice. And I got this from Aritzia and it's a small. But the only problem with this is I don't I don't think I really have anything that goes perfectly with this. I don't think the pants that I paired this with went perfectly together. I was trying to find something, like I was thinking about wearing a skirt with it, but I tried that on and it didn't quite work either. So I'm gonna have to do some more searching to see if I can find um, better bottoms. If you guys can recommend me something that you think would be good with this, let me know. I was thinking maybe like a silk skirt or something, but I don't have one of those in my closet, so maybe I should get one. I don't think this would go well with jeans. I think the cream looks nice with it, but I don't think the pants 
quite fit the top so I might try to find something else in a cream color whether it's a skirt or something to kind of go better with the top but the pants that I was wearing with this are just these pants from Meshki in a small and guys these are kind of like leather they're kind of like fake leather and they are wool I would believe I want to say in the inside like they are soft on the inside so I would I wore these once <laughs> I wore these once this summer and that was a huge mistake because I was literally sweating bullets in the pants and it was just not good. I should have known how insulated they were because of the the wool on the inside but that just did not register in my head. So yeah, these are definitely more for like the fall time. I still really like them and they're still really good quality so yeah. So for the next look, I kind of just paired these pants, these, what color is this? I want to say mm, cocoa. They're just a kind of a light brown color. I really like the color by the way. And these are a extra small from Meshki. I really like these. And then I just paired them with this top. And I wish I could tell you guys where I got this top, but I can't. It's just a normal um, crop top. So I think you could get one of these from literally anywhere. But I've had this for a while though. And then this belt I got from Aritzia. And I don't know what in my right mind made me get a belt from Aritzia. Because when I tell you, I could have got a belt like this from literally anywhere for half the cost. I don't even know how much this belt was. But when I saw my total, it was like in the 200s or something. And I only got like one other, like two other items with it. So it must have been pricey. But I don't be looking when I swipe my card and that's my problem. That's why I'm in this financial situation that I am right now. So with that being said, I do like the belt, but I literally, I don't know what made me, it's like when I go somewhere and I just see something that I'm like, I would, you know, that'd be nice. I just get it. Like, I don't really think twice about it. And that's a huge problem because I'm not at the place in my life right now where I can do that, but I act like I am, but I'm not. Anyway, this was the belt that I wore with that. So then I decided to add these Ray-Ban glasses to the look. I just got these glasses from Ray-Bans and they are so nice. I love the color, I love the gold. I love how they're gold. I love the color of the frames. I love these glasses and I think they go really well with that look. And then the purse that I added is just from Amazon. I really need to get better purses, guys. But unfortunately, a lot of the purses that I like are just out of my price range right now but I just try to work with what I got so I just put a little Amazon purse on every here and then just because it, it works for the moment so for the next look I just paired this pink floral top that I got from Meshki and it's a set it comes with a skirt but I kind of like it better as just the top alone so I got this and this is a uh, extra small and I just paired it with these jeans. And I got these jeans from Fashion Nova, I believe. But I just wanted some jeans that didn't have rips in them because I had a lot of jeans before. But since I'm just trying to have a more, um, more clean cut look, I tried to like search for some jeans that didn't have any rips at all. So that's why I got these and they fit really nicely. And so yeah, this is the next look and it's just this two piece set. The top is a medium because they ran out of my size. And then the bottom is an extra small. Yeah, but I'm bigger on the top anyway, so it didn't make that much of a difference. But yeah, I really like this outfit together. I really have not worn it yet because, I don't know, I just haven't. I haven't found like a place that I want to wear this to yet. But it's definitely an outfit that I really like, and I think it looks just really nice and put together. So yeah, I like it. Okay, so the next one is this blue top. And I love this top. I love this color. I love... The neckline, the material is nice, it's very stretchy. And this is from Meshki, it's a small. And I just paired it with the same pants I showed you guys earlier. It's just these Meshki pants. And yeah, I really love that top. I, I think it's just so pretty. So now that I showed you guys all the outfits that I put together with the new clothes that I got, I kinda, kinda just wanna show you guys the shoes that I got recently too. And it's only like four pairs, and it's nothing crazy, but it definitely has helped accentuate my outfits. So this is the first pair of shoes that I kind of got to go with my new wardrobe and they are just black Michael Kors heels. The heels are very short. They're only about like I want to say three inches but I think it's very practical because I don't like to change into flats even like if I'm wearing heels I like to wear heels all day because it goes with the outfit. So I think they're just really practical for a lot of the outfits that I want to wear and I think they're so cute like I love the style I love the knot style I just I think it's really cute. Um, so yeah these are the first pair and the second ones are just these nine west heels. These definitely have a longer heel than the first one. But I really just needed some everyday black heels, so I think they definitely do the job. And I'm not one to like like the point like style where it's like super pointy, but I don't think these are that pointy to where I didn't like them. 
so that's why I got these ones and I definitely put those little like cushion things in there because my feet be hurting in the heels like my feet be hurting so bad but since I love the look of them I put up with it I had to make it somewhat more comfortable so I just put the little insoles in and then lastly for shoes I just got these sandals in, in different colors because I think these are just very cute everyday sandals that went with the outfits that I showed you guys. I tend to wear the brown ones more than the black ones. And these, I wanna say, I don't, don't quote me on this, but if I, if my memory stands correctly, I wanna say that I got both of these I think both of these were either like around $30 per pair. So not expensive at all. And I just think they're really cute. So yeah. So yeah guys, those were all the pieces I got to help me kind of build my new wardrobe. It has been so fun. Like, okay, not the spending money part, but like the new clothes part, it has been so much fun just building my style and just figuring out what I like and don't like. Oh yeah guys, and one last thing. If you guys have been following along with this series, I had a goal planner template that I used a couple videos back to kind of track out and map out my goals for the rest of the year. So if you're interested in using that exact same template I put it down below in my link tree just so you guys can have access to it in case you want to use it to map out your goals because this is something that we're doing together so yeah if you want to use that template it's down below and thank you guys so much for watching this video I'll see you in the next one bye